Hello everybody, Swag Dragon Gaming here, and welcome to Don't Starve. So today I will be doing a cheat run, because a lot of people saying this 5 out of 5 star game is too difficult. Now, I do have some techniques, but I'll pretty much just be explaining some console commands. So the first thing that you need to do is, uh, pretty much you just have to go into the files, open up File Explorer, so, I'll get this over here. You have to go into, I believe, Documents, Frame Kelly, Don't Starve, and then Settings. So, once you get into Settings, you have to go look for Enable Console. It's normally default is set to false, but you set it to true. So, then you X out, you save the changes. X out of that, and you should be good from there. So, um, I have over here on my other monitor pretty much a list of debug spawn things. So, <coughs> I'll be getting over that a bit more, but for now, we'll just get into the basics. So, um, what you have to do for the basic part is all you have to do is open up a new game, so select play, and then, um, well, I'll just get rid of this one. So, you go over to a new game, you can select a random character. I guess I'll use, um, actually, there's another command, so I'm going to use the lumberjack, because he has a lovely lax, but a terrible secret. And, uh, you probably know, he can turn into a were beaver. So, there's a command that will instantly transform him into a were-beaver. So, just stuff like that. Alright, so, the first command that I'll probably be going over is the God Mode. So, the God Mode command makes you invincible. So, the reason that you want to be invincible is, well, you're invincible. If you're invincible, then you're most likely able to survive for an infinite amount of time. So, the command is, and by the way, if you don't know how, what you have to do is you have to, I think it's called the Itali mark on your keyboard, it'll be right below escape. So hit the Itali mark and type in C underscore God mode. And then two parentheses. So, God Mode is now enabled, so I guess this will be a good time to show you another command. So, tally C underscore speed. And then, two parentheses, and then you can set it to 10 times speed. So, and Control L deletes all that stuff. So, now you go 10 times as regular speed. And you can go all the way up to like past thousands, but I wouldn't recommend that. But an interesting thing with this is if you set it past 50, or just 50, what you can actually do is you can, if I can find some water, yes, you can run over land and into water. So a good use for that is skipping little areas like that. Um, getting, collecting items is a lot easier because you move much faster. If you equip this, you don't drop trees any faster, but obviously it's this guy. So. Yeah, that happens. Um, oh, how convenient. Alright, so, um, let's see, another command would be creative mode. Now this is most likely the, the most useful one, besides the debug spawn, which I'm pretty much overpowered. So, creative mode, you have to type in get player. And make sure you're capitalizing all the other things that I'm capitalizing. Parentheses, period, components. Components and builder. Give. Give all recipes. Okay, so I did something wrong there. 
Um, get player components, ceiling, PO, and Oh, always mess this one up. It's I L. So over to the left, you can see I can. It'll show that I can't build it, but I can actually build it no problem with perfect ease. So even stuff that I couldn't have even found before, I can now get in an instant. So that's useful. And now we will be doing stuff such as the debug spawn. So, what the debug spawn does is it allows you to spawn anything that you want in the game that exists instantly, including extra characters. So, so I'll show you, like, here, I'll spawn in... You know, I'll just spawn in Woody. So, it is... Uh, um, debug spawn. Debug spawn. I actually forget how to do this. Um, okay, I remembered how to do it, so it's debug spawn, and then parentheses, and then whatever those are called. Um, and then you type in the pretty much what you want to spawn. Be here now in this life. Okay, that was strange. Hope I won't get deep like copyright for that, but and it said debug spawn and then Princey and all that other stuff and then just type in Woody in this case. So Woody is spelled W O O D I E. Okay, I didn't type that. So, Woody, now you have a clone, and he says some funny things that like, talk to him much. So, I'm gonna just lower my speed. Um... Okay, I guess I don't know how to examine things anymore. There's no only thing where you can just click over them, but I guess not. There you go. Alright. So besides that, you can do items and other things. So, if, of course, you need something, you could always just do the builder thing. But, if you want something specific and you can't find it in the bar down on this side, you can just do debug spawn. Exact same thing for characters. Um, let's see. Backpack. So then you would have a backpack and be able to pick up other stuff. So, rocks. Not enough room. Bam! Got rocks. So, the speed can be used to kill birds before they can actually escape. Speed can also be used on day 9, you may know that wolves come and attack you, so that could be another use for it. Um, that's pretty much the most important things. I'll leave a couple links, I think two links that I used today, and thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, see what other crazy awesome things I should do next, and as always, peace out.